This is how you can code a snipe command for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're going to go to community, we're going to go ahead and create snipe.js. In here we can go ahead and define the slash command builder, so we can do const slash command builder. Then we can say equals require, and here we can say at discord.js slash builders. Then we can define the embed builder, so we can do const embed builder. Then we can say equals require, and we'll do discord.js, just like that. Then we can do module.exports equals, we can go ahead and open this up, we'll say data, and that will be new slash command builder. We'll do dot set name, and this is going to be snipe. And then we can do dot set description, and this is going to be this is a snipe command or something like that. We can add a comma. We can say async execute. And here we can do interaction, and we're also going to do client for this. Then we can go ahead and open this up. Now I am 90% sure that this is against TOS if you are trying to verify a bot, but if this is a private bot, this should be good for you. Now we're going to head over to our index.js file right here at the top under all this stuff right before your client.on events or just at the bottom. What we can go ahead and do is we can do client dot snipes equals new map and then we can go ahead and come down here we can do client dot on we will do message delete we can add a comma we can do function and do message and channel we can then go ahead and open this up in here we can do client dot snipes dot set we'll do message dot channel id we can add a comma and open this up then we can say content and we will say message dot content and then we can say author and that will be message dot author and lastly, we can say image, and that will be message.attachments.first. Then we can do a question mark and do message.attachments, and then we can do dot first. And then we can go down here and we can say proxy and URL, and then we can add a colon and we'll do null, just like that. So we can go back to our snipe.js command. We can go ahead and come down here and we'll say const msg equals client.snipes.git. We'll do interaction.channel.id. We can then say if no msg. We can return await interaction.reply. We're going to go ahead and say content. This will say I can't find any deleted messages, just like that. We can do comma, E-P-H, E-M-E-R-A-L. We'll do true. So this is going to be like if the bot just turned on and it can't register any deleted messages, or there were simply no deleted messages in that channel at that time. Then we can say const ID equals msg.author.id. We can say const member equals interaction.guild.members.cache.git. And in here we can do our ID. Then we can say const URL equals member.display avatar url then we can make an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder just like this we can do dot set color and that will be blue and we can do dot set title and in here we're going to say sniped message then we can go ahead and pass in our member dot user dot tag just like that and we can come down here and say dot set description and in here we're going to go ahead and pass in our msg dot content then we can go ahead and say a timestamp and then we can go ahead and say a footer and in here we can say text and then we'll say member ID, and that will be ID. And we can say icon URL, and we can pass in our URL just like that. So now we can say if msg.image, we can say embed.set image, and that will be msg.image just like that. Then we can do wait interaction.reply, and we will say embeds, and we will pass in our embed just like that. One more thing, just go ahead and remove this, and go ahead and say wait interaction.reply. Go ahead and say content, and we can say I can find any deleted messages just like that. Same as above, and then we can just make this informal just like that. With that, we are actually done, so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and run our snipe command, and as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say, I can't find any deleted messages. All right, so now if we go ahead and send a message and go ahead and delete that, we can now run our snipe command, and as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say snipe message from me. It's going to go ahead and send that message, and it's going to give me my member ID and all of that stuff. Now, if I do try to go ahead and delete a bot's message, as you can see, it's still going to say my message as it does not register bot. So that is how you can code a snipe command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out with your coding. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.